Hey, 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 guys, Brute Daily here, and well, I'm back. We are recording. Thank God I've missed it. So, today I'm starting on uh, Robocraft here. Sort of a mix between some sort of like Mars Rover and Minecraft type game. Though it was still PvP, so it gave me a bit of an interest. So far, I've done 32 hours on this, just made another account to show you guys right from the get go how I play and such. But basically I'm up to tier 5 on my other account. This game has given me a lot of fun I tell you. So I think for starters we're going to have to remove all these. We want to build our own we little mopedy Mars Land Rover thingamabobby. And we can use all these parts as well. Thank God. So let's just skip everything out here either way. Sorry about the mouse, so I'm currently waiting for my new computer to come through. So we'll be able to play some more better games and such also. And hopefully like heck it'll be a lot more quieter. That's my fingers crossed anyway, alrighty. So let's press Q and see what we've got in here. And we've got some heavy chassis cubes and such. So we'll build with the heavy chassis. Movement for eight steering wheels, so that's a bonus. We only need six. Six top mount SMGs, awesome. Headlamps and a pilot seat. Alrighty. So if, for those that haven't played the game, I don't really understand. It's got a tech tree to unlock new gear. Quite a big one at that. Come to think of it, I don't zoom out anymore. So basically, the basics of this are. I will zoom in. Start with up. So up is all your armors. And as you get more into the game you got your shields. And that's pretty much all there is on this part. And you've got your wheels, your steering and all that. So you've got the wheel tiers. Then it cuts into the steering. But then also you can get hover blades to fly, some thrusters as you get further on. You get helium. So basically that just helps you get higher in the sky and pretty much aerofoil and rudder are just wings pretty much. Now we go down, we've got our things like the enemy radar to scope out enemies. Alignment rectifier, now that's something you must have. So if you flip yourself, you can bring yourself back. Radar jammer to stop people finding you. Basically all these just get even more advanced. Then to the right here you've got your weaponry. Basically it just gets more advanced and splits into three different groups. So basically you start off with your mounts, your SMGs. And you get to tier four, four I think it is. And that's when you start, oh no it's tier three and you start getting plasma launchers. My favourite gun of course. Then you can get the rail cannon at tier four. So I think we'll build um little Mars Rover thingamabobby now and... Then we shall jump into a battle. Four, five, six, seven. Of course, I've got my own wee little design that I've been using for a while. Basically, just use something like that. It's just, it's not anything, pro is anything, but. It seems to do the trick for me quite well, so I've been sticking to this design whenever I play. So we want some movement, some wheels. I can see I'm going to get pretty owned quickly on tier 1. Because you do get the old tier 2 players come on and decide that they are going to use their place mechanics from tier 3 against you. Right, so also another little trick I learned on this. Alright, instead of going back to our cube depot, we've got the cubes here. We'll just hit the scroll wheel, like click it, and you get your cube you want. So that's pretty bloody nifty if you ask me. Really handy. The mouse scroll wheel also rotates your blocks. So have to bear with me while I do a 
quick build while I'm blinded by the sunlight coming in from my window unfortunately <laughs> that's a huge pain but I'm gonna have to put up with it closing the curtain is just gonna be a pain because I'm enjoying the sunlight for once right we do need to go back to our chassis and grab ourselves the tetras because it just makes it look smoother and nicer just like that you beauty So we basically have the main vehicle set up now for what I usually use. Then go to a special and grab ourselves a pilot seat for starters. And we just throw that on in there. It's not where I wanted it, I wanted it about there. Now we just go and throw ourselves some cubes through it, I believe I how I did it. Hmm. Oh, I'm just trying to remember. Right, we're going to start then to put our hardware on. We've got a few top mounts. So we can start throwing some of these on there. Basically, the design I'm using, I won't have to change at all, really, apart from the armor. So there's it there. And then we grab ourselves some more of these little buggers. I think these can sit by side by side at the moment. Yes, they can. That is brilliant and beautiful. Alright, so this is practically the build I seem to use when I go into battle anyway. Just going to armor up my little cabby thingy here a bit more. Never be too safe. Though I have learned about the damage on this quite a bit. Basically, the two blocks underneath your little seat there are what you want to protect mostly. So I always go from the front end. It's so basically this design I've been sticking with right through to tier 5. I absolutely love the double verse victory bonus as well, so I think we'll need to jump straight into a battle and have a little go. Well, that's brilliant. Straight on in. Takes a lot of loading, unfortunately. Or well, in most cases, it does. Now, yeah, I haven't used these in a while. How do they go? Woohoo! Pew, 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 pew. Um, I don't believe there'll be any flyers in this just yet. Sure as hell, I hope not. Just need a good vantage spot. That should do it. So if anyone comes around there, we can just start firing all out. Now you see, you got your two teams. Though it seems it looks like we've got more on our team than the other team. So it looks like we have ourselves some battle going on over here. Yep, we got ourselves a flyer. Yeah, got him. I only managed to lose one gun also. Oh yes, finally some backup. This isn't going very nicely. Another kill right there. Got 
Come on. Oh no, we lost. Yep, Brugdelli's out. Right, I'm going to end the video here for a moment. And we'll join back in once the matchup is over. Matchup is over, guys, and um, we have won. We took the enemy flag. Forgot about that completely. I'll show you in the next battle what we mean by that. So I was destroyed, obviously, but in quite a few good things. The issue is because I was destroyed, I don't get the two time double. So let's just have all that heal. I think we shall go and buy us some more top mounts, maybe. Oh, we've got six. Let's have a look, see in here. Oh, we need 14 down like that so we can see how much our next one is. So let's just buy another two top mounts. Let's see where we can place these guys. Hmm. Here and here will do, I think. Beautiful. That's more, so let's jump right back into another matchup. Hmm, that's good coffee. Come on, buddy, you're taking a while. Though, from the time I first started playing, there's a lot more people on now. I don't still don't understand the whole thing. The average wait time, so I think I'll stop recording. Oh no, there we go. Full minute for an average wait time is ridiculous. It's usually only five seconds or so. Oh, we need to come up with a name for the robot. Darn it, I forgot to do that, didn't I? I wanted to make it sound like something really cool. <laughs> oh, which map is this? Ah, I see. Right, let's head up this way. I'll be very, very careful not to roll myself. Let's fly into this. <laughs> Looks like they're all going middle on our side, so that could be pretty deadly. Oh, we've got plasma guns. That is never good when it's a plasma gun. Doesn't look like he's coming back out to play. Have a look, is anybody up there? Nope. Because he's got plasma guns, I don't want to go rushing down in there. It looks like we've started to take their base, so that's a relief. So let's jump in here on this action. If he's up there, I'm going to take him out, I hope, before he takes me out. One hit with this plasma gun can easily destroy your machine, so you've got to be very careful. Unfortunately, I generally rely on speed on this, so without it, it's a kind of a pain. Looks like our guy's in some serious trouble. gun left. This isn't going to be good for us. We've got a guy coming up from the rear end by lots of things. Come on, give me a try. Doesn't look like it, but we may win. You see the red and blue bars up the top. 
basically the rear bar rising those arts to take a near moment. I really don't like these ECMGs to be quite honest with you. I find them to be quite a big pain in the butt. But we managed to survive the round with one wheel intact. <laughs> quite a shame, but hey. So we got a victory. Would you look at that? First victory bonus. Now look at that. Tech tokens 18. That is marvellous. Auto repairs indeed. Oh, for those that want to do an auto repair, just go to escape settings and click the auto repair button. It saves you having to press the button each time. Radio, tech tree. Let's get ourselves a front mount. Alright, we got that now, so now we just need another four tokens to get the top mount here too. I actually kind of find those, um, Front mount's kind of useless. That's my opinion, though. But, um, we'll do one more battle, guys, and then we will call this an episode. So let's jump on in and finish this up. Check out that average wait time. Wow. And yet we're in in 11 seconds. <laughs> Come on, jump us in, buddy. Oh, I just like this matchup. But I know where to go for this one. Generally get the better kills over this side of the map. Oh, right, so if you can, guys, when you start off, when you first spawn and try not to hit others, because if you flip or they flip, it's just complete hell. And you'll soon find out, if someone does it to me, I will rage. <laughs> Even though I still have one mini of battles on my back. Every fire. <laughs> Just like how they go that way, it's easier to go this way. Whoa, we got a lot of them. Yeah, we ain't gonna finish up on this matchup. Come on, come on. Ah, he's got more guns. He got us, guys. Alright, I'm going to call this one an episode guys, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed it just you know do the usual like, rate, subscribe etc, we'll see you guys in another episode of this because I do enjoy this game, right, catch us around.